Hi, Hanji. Thank you so much for joining me for this interview today. Um, so for those of you watching at home, this is Hanji. He is my good friend and he is in the cast of our new web series called Virtual Love and Lockdown. Um, so I'm going to be asking him some questions today. So the first question I have for you is, can you just introduce yourself? I mean, the people need to know who you are. So who are you? Where do you live? And what is your role? Of course. Hey, Sam. So, hey, everybody as well. Uh, my name is Hanji. Uh, I am currently based in the UK. And my role on virtual love and lockdown is Tanner. Nice. Awesome. So, yeah, Hanji is a part of the cast. He plays Tanner. So, my next question for you is, what <laughs> is Tanner like? What is your character like? And how are you different or how are you similar to your character? Uh, Tanner is a very ballsy um, and kind of almost shameless kind of guy. Uh, and I think in that respect, I'm like similar to him. I'm shameless and kind of impulsive. But on the other hand, I'm also like kind of, uh, I like to think I, um, uh, I have more self-respect I guess <laughs> um, but no, I mean when you guys see it you'll do kind of know what I mean because he's just kind of like the stuff he says is like really it's kind of wild um, but yeah so I'm similar to him in, in terms of kind of being confident and um, or somewhat confident and, 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 and impulsive and a little just, just a little bit shameless Yes, that's so true. You are <laughs> you're one of the most bold people I know. And I mean that with wow. love because I love you. Are. But yeah, you're very different from him in a lot of ways as well. Um, and I think people will get to see that more as his character progresses. Yeah. Um, and you use an American accent. In, yeah, I do. Despite you being from the UK, but you yeah. have like an American little, little I, I I don't even know what I am anymore. Like it's just it's just it's just a weird sort of amalgamation of something. <laughs> I'll just dip in and out of it. Um, <laughs> and now I'm gonna get really self conscious about what my accent is. <laughs> no, no, no. You you have the best accent. But yeah, no, no it, it, it's it's sort of all over the place. My natural accent is anyway. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're from another country and then you go study in a different country. It's like, I yeah, mean, I've heard how they drill accent. the general American into you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so then my next question is hmm. Do you know people in real life that are like Tanner? Like, you're a little bit like Tanner, but do you know people who are, they're Tanner? Who are, who are, who are Tanner? Um, no, I don't actually. I think I don't know. I I like to think that the people I know and I'm friends with aren't kind of as crazy and and, and wild as Tanner is. Um, but I don't. I can't think of anyone that I know off the top of my head who is who is Tanner. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's fair. That's that feel like is a good thing. I, I, yeah, I think that is a, I think that is a good thing. Cause, uh, yeah, because I think if it, because I think if I knew someone or, or or was acquainted with someone who was like Tanner or who is Tanner, I'd be very worried and be like, okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, gonna, is know. that a good person <laughs> to be friends with? Yeah, right. <laughs> who's who, who's that sort of almost a little bit self obsessed? Yeah, and like is a little bit oblivious to social norms yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for those of you watching you'll understand very soon right, right. <laughs> awesome so what was it like working on this uh remotely because we filmed everything on zoom so what was that experience yeah. like for you oh it was weird i mean like it, it, it's just so bizarre and all and also being in a different like in a totally different time zone I think I'm just like several times in the head of you um doing it remotely on one hand it's kind of like 
comfortable because you don't have to like wor- you don't have to worry about too much beyond this little this little box. Um, but on the other hand, like working it out by yourself, like I mean, working things out for myself on 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 on, on this end, and 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 not being around people. I think just not being around people is like it's just such a weird thing anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like almost like a self tape because you're not yeah. yeah, you're not filming with like a crew. It's just you and and me and my people on right. the but like right. you're alone and you're kind of like the, the props master and the cost. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and and it's just so it's it's just so much more technical heavy I guess just kind of like worry about again you have to worry about this little square and like how you look with this little square where you look in this little square and um yeah it's 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 odd I definitely feel like you know this has been a time where you know everything has changed for the arts and everybody doing virtual acting they're really being pushed to kind of learn new skills and be more imaginative because you're you're kind of you know a jack of all trades when you're doing stuff like this so yeah for sure um (laughs) so speaking of i mentioned costumer and all of that um when Mm. i'm talking about all the little things that you have to do when you're doing virtual acting but you as well as being an actor you work in costumes so i was just wondering if you wanted to talk a little bit about your career and both acting and um, in costumes. Yeah, no, so yeah, so I'm I'm first and foremost an actor, and then I'm also a um, a, a multidisciplinary theater artist. Um, so I so yeah, so I work in costumes as well, um, and I've also worked as a um, production photographer way back when you know theater was a thing, <laughs> or when live theater was a thing. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I worked um prior to you know prior to lockdown and everything i worked on on on, on multiple off-broadway shows and, and helping helping the costume designer create the costumes and um and i was working on on my uh first like broadway show um right but literally like right i think it was like a year ago today very bizarre um, and that was when Broadway shut down. So um, yeah, so that was kind of that one was a little sad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think we were, we were literally literally in our first day of tech rehearsals, and um, and then that same day was when it was announced that Broadway was shutting down. I feel like everybody was like finally like getting to a place they wanted oh, to yeah. be and then all of a sudden it's just everything oh for sure yeah I, I was de- I was definitely like you know as we had just graduated not long before like I was you know, I was I was at a point where I was like you know starting to get um steady work within theater and I didn't have to work that um that restaurant job anymore like literally like the month before that had stopped um and so I was I, I was making money um, working, you know, all these, doing all these things within theater. Um, and it was great. And then COVID happened. And so it was just like, it was one of those things that was, it was so close, especially we were, you know, that, that day we were, it was our first day within, uh, it was our first day in that Broadway theater. And so when Broadway shut down and all this thing, all these things sort of started like breaking, you know, falling apart, um, it was one of those things where I was like, oh my God, so close, but yet so far. Listen, and then, wait, yeah. Wait. It is so, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but, but you know, that, yes. So I, so, so yes, I, 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 I did a lot of, um, uh, a lot of costume stuff. And, and, circling back, you're like, yes. Yes. um that's awesome so um if our audience watching say they were like this hanji guy is really cool where could they follow you on social media or check out your website uh well my website is my full name uh, hanjichao.com um 
and my social media. I'm on Instagram actually, uh, which um, yeah, I'm on Instagram and my handle is at chow chow chowy. C H O W C H O W C H O W Y. Awesome. So if you're watching this and you're like, I want to be friends with Hanji, or I want to check out his work. He was doing off Broadway and Broadway shows. You can check him out on uh, hanjichow.com, correct? Correct. And Chowy on Instagram. Um, so I just have a, two final little questions for you. Sure. The first is, um, what are three words to describe either your character or the show as a whole? Three words, let's see. Um, shameless, mm -hmm. impulsive, um, and... Oh, okay. This one's gonna. This one. This one's gonna sound as uh, like like it's a negative. It's not. But um, the third word is struggle to describe dating. In, no, I doing, get that. Doing yeah. this, so struggle. Struggle is real. Like really. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Perfect sense. Um, awesome. I feel like that can describe both the show and the character that you play. So for those of you watching. You're like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Just wait. Um, okay, so my last question is, if you could just tell the audience one thing going into watching the show, what would it be? It's going to be wild because you can see all these, like, you can see all these dating kind of mishaps. Um, but yeah, it's going to be wild. True. It's maybe a little bit cringy. It may be a little bit cringy, but in a good way. <laughs> true, true, true. I feel like it'll be like relatable. People will be like, Yes, oh, relatable. I've been there, you know. Yeah. But, uh, such is life. Um, <laughs> awesome. Well, for those of you watching, um, Virtual Love and Lockdown premieres on April 20th. We are releasing each episode every week starting April 20th. So it's going to be a really fun few weeks. Um, and Hanji is going to be in one of the episodes. So check it out. He's in episode five. Um, and thank you again so much for being a part of this interview. Of course. Thank you. Ooh, awesome. Well, it was so good talking to you. I hope you have a good Likewise. <laughs> <Okay>, bye. <laughs> See ya.